Hi, my name is Rich Hansen, and I'm going to show you how to do a hardness titration today using the 9P. So to begin with, we want to take our solution. Today we're going to use 200 ppm and rinse our cell cup three times. I like to get that cap in there. One, two, three, and then fill the cell cup to the top. Okay, we'll come over here. Make sure your tea plunger has been cleaned. And then, as before, we just go straight down, displace the solution we don't need, like to twist it a couple times, and then tap this to get any excess that might be on the end of your plunger. Okay, come over to the sink and get rid of your excess out of the, the well. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, get ready. Grab your uh, pipette and hit hardness. And it says press cal. Now, uh, before you do that, you will need to get your tip on and to do hardness you're going to be using C1 first so let's hit Cal and it's going to say add C1 so come over here get our C1 put that in there close the cap carefully and then agitate hold Agitate. Hold. You only need to shake it three or four times, just like that. Don't, don't need to do a whole lot. In fact, don't shake it too hard. It'll create bubbles in there. Hold. Agitate. Three or four little shakes like that is fine. That says press cal and open cap. So we're going to press cal and we're going to open that cap. Now what's happening now is the CO2 is, is bubbling off. So we're getting rid of the CO2 by that. That gives us 120 seconds to basically get ready for the next uh, titration. Press cal. Now when we press cal, it's going to ask for H1. So let's go over here and get some H1. Put that in. Close the cap. And agitate, as it says. Again, th three or four good little shakes like that is all it needs. Hold. Agitate. Hold. Agitate. Now you don't have to keep agitating just because it's blinking. Press cal. So I like to open up my cap first. Get ready. Hit press cal. Add some more H1. Put the cap back on and agitate as the screen shows you. Again, just three or four good little shakes is all it needs. Okay, now before I hit cal, I'm gonna get ready for my next one here, which means I remove this tip, put the cap on, and in this case, we're going to be using EDTA LC. I'm going to put that tip on. And I'm going to hit Cal. Now it's going to say add EDTA LC. See the LC down here? That's the one you want to use. Put that in. Agitate. Hold. Agitate. Press cow. Okay, take the lid off. Now again, if you had uh, a high concentration of solution, you'd want to make sure that uh, you'd want to use this. And, and it would call it out down here as HC. So today we're using a low concentration, so this will work fine. So again, hit cow. Add EDTA LC. Agitate. Hold. Okay. And we're ready for the next one. Hit cow. And another sample of EDTA. 
ALC. All right. So I always like to tap this just to make sure there's no solution on the cap. Open that up slowly so it doesn't fling any of the solution out. And hit Cal. And and agitate again. Now this will be anywhere from 8 to 10 uh, titrations, so this takes a little while. We're on number 4 now. Agitate, hold. And I will continue to to do this until we get to our number. My titration ten now. So normally hardest takes anywhere from 8 to 12 uh, EDTAs, so this is not uncommon at all. Yep, there's our number. If doing an LSI reading later, you'll need to accept your hardness reading and put it into memory. To do that, you just hit the MS key right here. 